Hi guys, this is Grizzly with another product review and today we're going to have a look at a Franklin Christoph pen. I'm super stoked to be able to have a look at this pen because it has a lot going on and I'm really thankful to Scott Franklin of Franklin Christoph for sending me this pen for review so that I actually can have a look at it and have a chance to shooting this review. We'll talk a little bit about the pen, of course, in a minute. Um, Franklin Christoph has opted here for a very simple white cardboard package with the Franklin Christoph logo and these four diamond shaped uh, thingies on here. You open up that box and out comes a small leather pouch with a leather zip pouch with the Franklin Christoph logo on it and I find that's really cool Franklin Christoph to my understanding has decided to swap out uh, whatever cardboard gift box or something like that that then afterwards you're most likely just going to toss into the corner or in the dustbin for something that actually is useful and that you can use for carrying around um, that pen here if you like or um, maybe pencils or whatsoever. I think it's a really nice little pencil case. Uh, a very nice, a very nice idea, a very nice decision uh, to add something that is a little bit more useful than just a paper packaging. But to my understanding, if you would want something that looks a little bit more fancy or something like that, you could also get a more elaborate gift box. But you're just going to have to notify Franklin Christoph via email if you'd like that. You then get a blue and a black ink cartridge because the pen does take uh, standard international cartridges but it also does come with a converter and you can also eyedropper pen uh, fill the pen. I'll get back to that in a minute. So it's nice you get two ink cartridges cartridges which gets you started straight away and then um, you get a um, has the that logo here at the back side by the way. You get a couple of cards here. First of all, a Franklin Christoph um, business card. That's here, the Franklin Christoph nib design with their address and a website where you can order the pen from. Um, you then get a lifetime warranty, which I find super cool, um, with a um, signed by the Franklin Christoph team, team member that has shipped the pen to you. Um, so you get a lifetime warranty against mechanical defect, which is super cool because the pen is not exactly inexpensive. That pen here, and I'll get to that in a minute, comes with a Mazuyama needle point, which I found because I love fine and extra fine nibs. So I'm really stoked to be able to try out the Mazuyama uh, needle point grind. So that pen how you look at it here like this costs 195 dollars um, which for a cartridge converter filled pen and a steel nib is quite a word um, the Masuyama grind adds 20 bucks to the pen um, you can otherwise also get the pen for 175 euro which with i have to say a spectacular range of nib choice options from extra fine fine broad over to different uh, kinds of cursive italic and stop nib options which is really great and it's it's an awesome pen but it's not exactly inexpensive so i find it's really nice that you get a lifetime warranty and uh, i get back to that again in a minute build quality of this pen is stellar i can definitely see that you know outlasting a lifetime so you'll definitely quite get quite some some bang for your buck and then you get uh mazuyama uh, the famous Mike Mazuyama Nip Meister business card with the Mazuyama chop on it. You have received the Franklin Christoph Nip custom ground by Nip Master Michael Mazuyama. Retain this card and official chop for Mr. Mazuyama of Mr. Mazuyama for for authentication authentication of work. So that was an HPS number steel a uh, number six extra fine steel nib, and Mr. Mazuyama has ground that to needle point which is awesome. It's one of the smoothest, very, very, very fine nibs that I've ever written with. This is really like, Mr. Masuyama's nib skills are insane, so to speak. Really awesome. So the shape of the pen, we're looking here at the um, 
Franklin Christoph does produce a number of different pens. The one we are looking at here is called the Model 2 and it says that here on the pen uh, Franklin Christoph 02 here that is the Model 2 intrinsic that's what the model is called it has a very unusual shape I'll talk about that and it comes in a number of different colors um, they change the production every now and then so the colors there are some standard colors more or less and then some special colors that um, change here and there that finish that we're talking about right here is called the black and cinnamaroon it's not difficult to see why it's called black because it has a super nice glossy black body and i really love that kind of shiny reflective black because that is probably the blackest black that i have ever seen on a pen it's really a really nice black it just looks awesome and then it's called cinnamaroon because it has a red brownish finial here with some gold sparkles in here some gold dust that you is very very subtle you can only see that if you angle the pen in in the light accordingly it has the franklin christoph logo again here on top of the cap you know like that you can't really see so much of those sparkles but then when the light falls in in just the right way that stuff just pops out really really nice looks spectacular in sunlight but it's not it's not too much it's just like you know that can be a serious business pen that you can use in any meeting but it has that certain little something going on here which i do honestly like a lot we then have a clip here which has those four uh franklin christoph logo design elements on here the clip flares out which makes it pretty easy to slide into a pen pouch or shirt pocket uh, i'd like for that clip to flare out just a wee little bit more so it would be easier to slide it into a shirt pocket or pen pouch but i mean it does its job works very well and then as said here we don't really have a center band but engraved here franklin minus christoph 02 model 2 of course um, we unscrew the cap in a minute and then we have a body that tapers down in odd ways here which is made for the cap to be able to post super deep onto the pen body which also is really an excellent design feature and then we just have like a flat bottom of the pen here the pen unscrews with about three quarters of a turn which is awesome because it makes it a super fast note taker, which I really like. I said it in almost every review. I hate it if I have to twist the cap about three times for it to finally come off. Nothing more annoying than that. Then we have no inner cap. You can't really see that in that lighting conditions here. Or is there an inner cap? Uh, yeah, there is an inner cap. Sorry. There is an inner cap that you can't see now here because it's slightly darker here at the moment um, which does an excellent job in preventing the nib from drying out i never had any issues picking that pen and it would dry in works very very well we have a very interestingly shaped section here by the way notice that franklin christoph has decided to put the cap threading down here not up here so the cap actually threads in down here which is super cool because when you hold onto the pen it should not exactly get into your way the threading the only problem is and i have a little bit of a problem with that at times i had to teach myself how to grab the pen properly because i tend to hold my pens a little bit lower and if you do that if you tend to hold your pen a little bit lower you will grab onto those threads here and then that does get uncomfortable so i always have to when i write with that pen um, I have to be a little bit attentive for holding the pen up here where it's a little bit thicker which I also is find more comfortable to my grip because I prefer slightly beefier pens so if I hold the pen up here it's wonderful to write with lace in the hand excellent super great balanced pen that is really nice um, if you prefer a no narrower grip that is of course also cool that that thing here is indented a little bit because you can actually slide down here and hold it in here which then is a narrower grip which is also fine you just then need to be careful not to slide down 
too much because then your asset holding onto those threads and that might get uncomfortable. You can of course hold the pen a little bit more like that instead of that. You know, it just depends on your grip a little bit. But as said, I just taught myself and always remind myself when I write with that pen to hold it up here. Wonderful then, not slippery at all, great pen. Great balance, unposted, and then you see how deep that posts onto the barrel, exactly halfway down the barrel because of that tapering of the pen body back here. And that makes it also a super usable writer posted, very balanced, very, very nice writing instrument, I gotta say. Uh, you can unscrew the pen and uh, very nice threading, very well machined. That feels quality, that feels really nice. You get a converter that is supplied with the pen, that comes with the pen. You can also eyedropper the pen because it's all resin, it's all plastic. Awesome, um, especially that pen is also available in transparent finishes, in demonstrator designs. It's then of course super cool to eyedropper that pen because that looks wonderful. Now that here, uh, as said, has a Mazuyama needle point grind on and as you can see here, that really is a dagger. Um, it uses so little ink that I would never eyedropper this pen because I think I'll never ever be able to change ink color again in my lifetime because, I mean, this here is inked with Sailor Okuyama. I've written with that for like three days. Um, I don't write half a book each day, but I take a good couple of notes and it's almost not used up any ink because that needle point really almost does not use up any ink. You see some Okuyama sheen on that feet down here. Of course, it's a number six nib, so you can swap that out for a Jovo nib or a titanium nib or whatever you have laying around home. Um, that, as a matter of fact here, has the Franklin Christoph logo on it. Some scroll work says EF because that's what Mike Mazuyama, Mr. Mazuyama used for grinding it down to a needle point. And here you see this needle point, which really is a needle point. This is a really, really fine line. The camera focuses on that pretty nicely right now. Um, let me see if I can get a paper as a background. Yeah, very nice. See that nib? It just... I mean, the nib just comes up a little bit at the tip. To me, to my eye, it almost looks a wee bit like a Waverly or something like that, like a Pilot Waverly. Maybe Mr. Mazuyama does that so that you get a, a little bit more of writing surface, a little bit a smoother tip. I'm not sure. You see the grinding? You see the grinding down here? Yeah, you see that down here where the grinding has happened, where Mr. Mazuyama has done the nib work? Um, and then you see ah, the lighting, the lighting, the lighting. I hope you see that the nib just comes up, lifts up here at the tip, that wee little bit where it flares out a bit. And I, I don't think that that's a characteristic of the nib itself. I'm pretty sure that that is something that Mr. Mazoyama has done to the nib in order to get a, a smoother writing surface, which just works stellar. I mean, it's just speculation, but as a matter of fact, the pen writes perfectly. And I'll show you that in a writing sample now in a minute. And um, yeah, I find the number six nib is a very nice, the body the body to nib proportion works very nice on with that number six nib here. That looks very nice. So writing sample, I hope the nib has now not dried up on me um, in the course of the review. Yeah, it has, that normally doesn't really happen. Let's see for it to come up again. No, now it's coming back. That is because I had the pen uncapped for quite a while and then Sailor Inks, oh sorry, that was off camera. Sailor Inks are also not necessarily the wettest of inks, which is why the line also is a little bit finer. But as a matter of fact, here we are back again now with the Franklin Christoph. Model 2, it's called Intrinsic. 
and you already see that very fine line very very smooth i mean it's incredible how smooth such a fine nib can be it's really crazy um medium wetness of course like i mean um I've rarely written with such a fine nib that is still wet enough to show you shading and all those kinds of things in ink. I mean, I have recently, like Okuyama doesn't show so much of that, but I've recently had, uh, but you can see it a little bit, I've recently had um, Pelikan Edelstein smoky quartz in that nib and it was amazing how much shading I saw in smoky quartz on that fine nib. Excuse me again for the lighting. As said, it's slightly dark here. Yeah, that is because the pen was unkept for a while. That normally, as said, does really not happen. Um, I have a couple of other pens here that I want to just show you to show you how um, how fine this needlepoint actually really is. Um, I have a capless here that is a fine nib, and that fine is already pretty fine. Uh, let me write the same thing here. Model to intrinsic and do some of those here and then maybe we do something like this here and the same with that needle point so you see that needle point is definitely a little finer even than a pilot capless fine and the pilot capless fine already is really fine because it's a Japanese fine nib. Um, so this needle point here is, I wouldn't say that it's finer than a Japanese extra fine. I've had a Sailor Pro Gear extra fine and I think that was, if I remember right, a little finer than uh, than this um, uh, than this needle point here. Oh, I wanted to show you another pen um, just as a, as a reference. Uh, this here is a Model 2. This here is a Lamy 2000 and that uh, happens to have a fine nib on. Uh, just for you to see that as well. That now is of course a substantial difference, right? Um, this is really a very, very fine line. So um, that was the review of this uh, Franklin Christoph Model 2 with a Mazuyama needlepoint grind on it. A fantastic pen. I hope the review was useful to you and I'll see you at the next review. Bye bye.